LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, liftoff conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Liftoff. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. And let go. The vehicle is pitching down range. seconds into flight on the Falcon 9. All engines are running at full power. We are preparing to enter through our first major milestone after liftoff, max Q. We're going to we're gonna throttle those engines down. We've confirmed nominal status from the avionics team. Next, max Q. That's when the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of dynamic pressure. We throttle those engines down, and afterwards we throttle them back up to keep dynamic pressures below a Falcon certain level. Is supersonic. Max Q. We've successfully crossed the max Q threshold. Those nine Merlin 1D engines are going to cut off. That's known as MECO or main engine cutoff. Right after that, the first and second stage will separate. And then main the engine cutoff. Second stage will turn on. That's known as SES-1. Stage separation confirmed. All right, all good news here. We had successful main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine start one. Our next milestone is fairing deployment. Those two fairing halves on the top of the second stage are no longer needed, and we'll jettison them. Fairing separation confirmed. And you saw there, we just jettisoned our two fairing halves. It's our first good view of Turksat 5A. It's now exposed to space, and those two fairing halves are heading back down to sea level. For those of you just joining, we're four minutes into flight on today's mission of carrying the Turksat 5A satellite to its intended High orbit on the Falcon 9. Bermuda. We're currently in the first of two planned MBAC burns. That's what you see on your screen currently. Uh, not pictured here currently, but that's uh, after stage separation. The first stage, we're attempting to recover it. We have confirmation to go over orbit on the second stage. Stage two FTS is saved. First stage, we're attempting to recover it. Its velocity at separation was about 2,200 meters per second, or 5,000 miles per hour. Once the separation occurs, the first stage is still moving at such a high velocity, it continues to raise its altitude as it approaches its apogee, and then it will coast down a couple minutes before it starts its return back to Earth. Up next, what you'll hopefully see is the first stage's entry burn. This is the first major milestone for first stage recovery. For entry burn, we're going to relight the center of those nine Merlin engines. It's actually engine number nine. It's helping slow down the vehicle as it passes into the Earth's increasingly thickening atmosphere. That burn will last about 30 seconds. Expected loss of signal, Cape. First stage is now uh, less than 100 kilometers above sea level, continuing to make its way down. Stage one entry burn startup. Entry burn has begun. All three engines are running currently. As Stage you watch this here, watch that exhaust expand as it goes from one engine to three engines. It'll sort of elongate. And right after that milestone, we're going to start our final first stage burn, the landing burn, hopefully culminating with a fourth landing of this particular first stage. And after that, only about 30 more seconds until we hopefully have a nice view of the first stage touching down on our Just Read the Instructions autonomous drone ship.
Stage one landing burn, sorry. Our landing burn has started. Our second engine has also cut off, as you can see. We're just awaiting confirmation of good orbital insertion. And back on sea level, you can see here the drone ship. We have confirmation of good orbit. We actually allow the second stage to coast. This event preserves the fuel until we need it for that final burn, uh, second engine start number two, and it takes us to our targeted orbit for today's satellite deploy. And back on sea level, you can see here the drone ship. We have confirmation of go over orbit on the second stage and... Looks like we have a good landing on, on the drone ship as well. This is SpaceX's 71st successful first stage recovery. This particular booster is fourth successful recovery, getting ready for its fifth flight in the future. That's our secondary mission, vehicle reusability, but our primary mission is not yet complete. The second stage vehicle has now entered its first coast phase. You can follow along with our animation for the next 18 minutes. Otherwise, we'll see you back here at T plus 25 minutes. Welcome back to the webcast, the Falcon 9 mission carrying the Turksat 5A satellite. Now we're coming up on the second burn of that upper stage engine. And currently we do expect for that second engine start, SCS-2 to occur. Uh, at this point, the nominal burn duration is 70 seconds. Currently that second stage is traveling almost 8,000 meters per second. This burn is gonna add another 2,000 meters per second to the Falcon 9 speed before it shuts down for a second time. This shutdown event called SECO-2, that stands for second engine cutoff number two. This burn places the Turksat 5A satellite into the required orbit prior to separating it from Falcon 9. Now, while we wait for the satellite to get closer to its final destination, we'll pause commentary during this coasting phase, but we'll come back just before stage two separation takes place at T plus 32 minutes. Welcome back again to our launch coverage of the Turksat 5A mission. Also coming up in about 10 seconds, that's the deployment of the Turksat 5A satellite. One quick note, we're actually not spinning the second stage of this mission. Payload deploy confirms. And you can see it, we have confirmation of successful payload separation of the Turksat 5A satellite, and that will now bring today's webcast coverage to a close. Before we go, we really want to thank Airbus, our customer, for entrusting us with the Turksat 5A satellite. It was also SpaceX's 71st successful booster landing, as well as SpaceX's 50th time for flying a reflown booster. Also, it's our first launch for 2021. To the range and the FAA, we appreciate having your support and acceptance for today's mission. And to all of our viewers, you, as always, thank you for tuning in and have a great evening.